Matches Below. Uh, hey guys, Matches Blown here, bringing you guys another desktop video. Uh, some interesting news just came out that I want to discuss with you guys, so let's just jump straight into it. Um, we're going to Chrome, and we're going straight in here to Comic Book Resources, where it, they're saying that Greg Berlanti confirms Booster Gold movie may direct. Uh, so yeah, the interesting news is that apparently the Booster Gold movie is happening, this didn't work, and they just got a script, or a script writer actually. Um, but, you know, let's just read this. You know, like always guys, the link will be in the description, so if you guys want to read this article for yourselves, go right ahead. Uh, following a report that Sax starts uh, Power Ranger X-Men First Class uh, is writing a Booster Gold film. Uh, Greg Berlanti, who was rumored to be an executive producer of the film, has confirmed the projects in the works. Earlier this week, The Hollywood Reporter Berlanti confirmed that the film is being scripted by Stentz and that he is interested in being more involved than simply producing it. Um... You know, and, and like like I said, you guys can go ahead and, and continue to read it. But that's pretty much it uh, as far as the news is that uh, Booster Gold movie is happening. And apparently the the script or the screenplay writer or whatever, the writer for the, you know, the current Power Rangers movie that's going to come out, I believe, next year and the X-Men First Class movie, that writer is supposedly going to write the Booster Gold script. And Greg Perlandi is already attached to the project uh, producing the film. But he does want to be more involved and potentially direct the film. And I think that will be uh, really, really cool. Um, yeah, for those of you guys who know, Greg Berlanti is pretty much the, you know, one of the big creative uh, powers behind, you know, Arrow, The Flash, uh, Supergirl, Legends of Tomorrow. So, um, or I'm not sure about Legends of Tomorrow. It might be a, a different producing team there. But uh, I think it is really cool. If you guys have seen those type of shows, you guys see it is a very different style compared to the current lineup of movies we had. If you couldn't compare it to Man of Steel and BBS, I feel the movies just are, are, are a bit darker than what the shows are. Um, the shows do have some dark elements to it and, you know, they don't shy away from it. It's not all happy-go-lucky, but I feel there are a lot more lighthearted moments and it does become a little more... Um, uh, I don't want to use the word fun because, you know, fun is very uh, relative, but I just feel like it, it's a lot more uplifting in a way, a little, a little more upbeat. And so I think that's a perfect kind of mixture of elements for Booster Gold. Booster Gold tends to be a very comedic character in the sense that, you know, his premise, essentially, he's a guy who wants to get rich off being a superhero. Um, and... I think you can have a lot of fun uh, with that, especially when you throw in the, the idea of a time travel, right? If you can kind of have him jumping through time and using his knowledge of the future to kind of make a quick buck, I think that would be really funny and really awesome. But of course, you know, Booster Gold has been a part of different story arcs where he has to be a little more serious. And I think, uh, again, Greg Berlanti, and this is just, you know, off of him producing and hopefully directing, but I think him, him and his kind of like team has already showed that they could execute stories like that where, you know, the character might be a little more uplifting and lighthearted, but they could still do a a more serious story, if you will. So, you know, those are kind of my thoughts. I think it is really cool that this is all happening, you know, that, you know, just more uh, kind of characters and more movies going into the DCEU. This is supposedly, um, supposedly it is going to be a part of the DCEU and it's not going to be something separate, right? I believe the Shazam will be supposed to be separate from the DC Extended Universe. I'm not 100% sure on that. There hasn't been really an update. Um, but supposedly this movie is planned to be a part of the same universe. And right now that I'm thinking about it, um, in, in the Flash, in the TV show, they, right away from season one, they already talked about how the Flash and, uh, how he kind of has time traveling powers. And we don't know what the Flash, uh, solo movie will be, but if it's anything like that, hopefully they can talk about time traveling as well. And then, uh, kind of piggyback off of that and make the time traveling movie of Booster Gold. Uh, but yeah, those are kind of all my thoughts on this whole thing. Um, I'm really excited for it. You know, there's not much to say just because, you know, it's just... We just know that now the movie is officially in the works and hopefully it does uh, kind of take off and does become a real film. But yeah, uh, tell me your guys' thoughts and opinions down below, guys. Comment and um, like the video if you guys like it, dislike it if you didn't. And subscribe and look forward to more videos. Thanks. Laters.